Hi guys, it's Karina. I am back with another video tutorial on my template 94. Um, I wanted to share with you guys how to make this super adorable simple, simpler, simple flower using my template 94, like I said, using only two petals. And I am using one of my newest pink flower centers, um, pink center. All right, four. guys, so let me show you what the template looks like. So this one roughly here is around 15 inches. And like I said, it only requires two petals. It is a three petal, three, wait, a three layer flower. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's super cute. Um, so with this template 94, you actually can make a, di a various different style of flowers. You can even make a cute little peony. Um, and I do have two saved highlight stories on this template, template 94, when I released her on my Instagram, Ariel Lease Designs. Um, and I believe I also have a tutorial on the peony. Um, let me just show you real quick, because I, I have some mounted right in front of me, um, the other style flowers that you can make with this. So let me take you guys to my floral wall. If you're a follower of mine, you know that my office is full of flowers literally everywhere because i make a lot of tutorials um so i just add them to my wall so here let me show you this little bunch right here are my templates 94. so if you get this template you'd be able to so this is kind of roughly what we're making right here this is a smaller version um but you can make the little peony you can make like the two-tone flower so again i do have a tutorial on this under my saved highlight stories how i made that and also how i made um these cute little peonies so those two are template 94 as well even this one um right here so it's definitely a template that you can definitely make various style flowers. So this is what the template looks like and there are 14 petals with this template so there are quite a bit the reason for this is because i because i showed you that flower that's layered um i like to i like a lot of that layered look where you you know add a petal on top of another petal um so that's why there's a, a little bit more petals with this template so this template is available in pdf hard copy and svg just if you're curious and if you're curious what the difference is hard copy just means i mail it out to you pdf means i will well my website they will send you the what the the pdf you just print it out and you make your own hard copy and then svg it's for those who have cutting machines such as the cricut or silhouette that you can download the svg and then have your cutting machine cut it out for you which is nice especially for the smaller ones i tend to do that a lot when i'm making little peonies um i use my svg a lot if i'm cutting like for example this 15 inch that I just showed you, because yes, she is roughly 15 inches. I did use the largest petal with this one. Um, I hand cut. I, I use my scissors to cut. So for that one, like I said, was 15 inches. I used the largest petal and then the fourth petal. So one, first petal, and then count down to four, and then I use this one as well. For today's tutorial, I'm gonna be using the second largest, okay? And then the third petal down, this one right here. Okay, um, just because I like a little bit of a difference of spacing um, and I did 10 of these and five of these. How to prep your petals. So I am using cardstock 65 pound weight and this is from Michaels from the red pack. Um, they have like a red, different red shades pack. Um, so this is from Michaels, 65 pound weight because I always get asked what weight I'm using. So um, wooden dowel, something to curl with and to prep your petals does not matter i like to alternate different petals so like some of them facing this way and some of them facing that way and all you're going to do is just curl curl them back it's honestly such a simple flower guys get your scissors so i'm using my westcott carbo titanium um, i will have them linked on my youtube if you're watching this video on my youtube channel um I always tend to have things linked for you guys of what I'm using. Um, and then I am going to be using my Sherbonner Mini Detail Glue Gun. You guys know I use this one all the time as well. And then just hold, just like that. So I do have mine all prepped. So like I said, we need a ton of the largest and then five of the smallest. So let's go ahead and get started so all you're going to do is we're going to start off like I always do um, gluing these around in a circle 
so I'm just adding the smallest dot of glue, as you can see. And you only want a little bit of glue because I don't always get the circle right. Sometimes it can look a little funky. So sometimes I do have to like lift a certain petal to readjust it. So that's why you don't want to add too much glue. Wait, did that go? It's kind of hard to see the glue with the red. And there you go. And then I'm just going to add glue here. To hold all right you guys so now that the flower is assembled you just want to make cut out a circle just so we can cover up that gap and then you're just going to add glue around hold on i need to push this new glue stick in there we go all right Go ahead, cover that up. Now we're gonna add the new petals and we will be going in between the petals. So this is still the same size as that first layer. Okay, so there we go. We are on to our last layer, which is the smallest petal. And I'm only going to add a little bit of glue here to, what is it, your right, the right side. And then just go around. Right, we are in our last petal and we will be tucking her in just like that. Super simple, like I said, it's such an easy flower, especially for those of you who are beginning to into this paper flower journey. This is definitely a simple um, template to work with. So I am gonna be using one of my newest um, pink centers, which is, I wanna say this is pink center four. Um, so I did cut a various, different sizes just because well you could just do one if you wanted to do one but i love layering my centers um i don't know i just like them when they're <laughs> more fuller but again you can just do one or do however you want i mean even with one it's super cute and then even maybe if you add like a cute little gem in the center that would look adorable but let me show you how i like to do the center um, that I showed you in the yellow one. So let me grab a couple of things. I'll right, be right guys. So I did cut out quite a bit of these um, centers and you, as you can see in different various sizes. Um, so one of the questions I get asked a lot is how do I know how big to go with the center? So I've shared before this kind of tip, um, but what I generally do, so once the flower is assembled, um, I get myself either ruler or measuring tape, typically a measuring tape, because that's what I have in hand. Um, and then I will kind of measure out roughly how wide I want it. So for example, here, I kind of wanted around six inches, the largest one. Um, and that's how I pretty much base off the first you know layer if i'm going to be doing a layer actually that goes for anything um but like since i want this to be the largest one so that's what i did i measured it out to six inches so that's typically how i do it guys okay and then from there on because i want this more of a layered i want them go from largest to smallest then a couple of inches you know i just go smaller you know smallest to largest depending how you want it okay um but like i said it's just go with it you can't you can't go wrong with it okay all right so let me show you um what i like to do so i'm gonna use my mcgill mat which is is a foam 
to foam mat and then i'm going to be using my mcgill tool i will have this um linked below on my youtube here um everything that i'm using so what i like to do for this particular center so one of the centers i'm gonna so when i make the center i make sure to get two the first two are the same size and i double them up um so one of them i'm gonna leave it as is and then the next one what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab one of so typically if it's a large center obviously i'm gonna be using the larger round ball and i just give it a slight roll so this definitely can be a little bit time consuming so this is definitely something that you can omit skip if you don't want to do this just layer them up but i kind of want to give the center a little bit more character um so this is typically what i do so i'm gonna go all around and do that basically to all of them now when it comes to the smallest ones i'm gonna switch it because obviously this is too big so then i would be using the smaller one and then just repeat the same thing okay so do you see how they kind of go in that's exactly what we want so let me go ahead and get these all prepped for you and i'll Guys, be right back so my centers are already prepped um one of the things i wanted to show you with the smallest ones i forgot to show you guys um that the smaller ones i like them to get kind of cupped like into a like a little ball so one of the things you do is just you grab the your ball whatever and then in the center you just kind of give it a roll in the center and that's going to make this kind of close in a little bit more that's just a little tip for you guys okay all right so now that they're ready super easy i'm just gonna layer them up glue one on top of the other and that's pretty much it and like i said you don't have to add as many like i do i just like the fluffier look i guess Just glue them on. And when you, if you do purchase this template, guys, um, just FYI that there are no measurements included. It's just one image, so it's for you to mess around and play with it okay um but like i said you can layer them up keep it as one curl them in if you want glue the last one and there you go so it's a cute flimsy i don't know you know fluffy guys. <laughs> and then that's it you just go ahead and glue that center in the center and you are all done um so this one let me measure out roughly how big she is if you're wondering all right so this one's around 15 and then this one i never got to measure it actually this larger one okay so actually this one is roughly around 17 inches okay so remember I used the largest petal with this one and then with this one I used the second largest so she's around 15 I know they're huge I can't really get a full look at them but um, I'll insert a picture right now of them um together um so if you're interested in any of my templates um please go to www.arielalisedesigns.com you can find everything there all my templates my leaf templates my floral center templates and if you ever have any questions guys please um, message me either on my email arielalisedesigns at gmail.com or instagram i'll be honest i'm more quicker on instagram then my gmail just because i get alerts more on my instagram um so if you need me to help you out reach out to me either way either one um but like i said i'm more quicker with instagram if you if you dm me at Ariel designs okay um so yeah i will chat with you guys later bye